Is there a range, ballpark figure, of 5% or 10% growth? We have budgeted for a 7% to growth. Okay. Uh, and, I, I, and that growth is easily achievable in terms of passenger numbers. Obviously, uh, one extremely difficult to predict with uh, exactly the bottom line for the airline in 2018 because we're still in month two. Uh, but, but overall, there is no reason for us to believe that is not going to be as good if it's not better than 2017. What are some of the bright spots that you're looking forward to in 2018 when it comes to markets? Is it size and scope and scale like Saudi Arabia, for example? I think Saudi, our distribution is extremely well and we operate to 12 airports and we're seeing uh, the whole economy is changing. The, the, the obviously, again, I, I go back, the, the, the improvement in the bottom line oil price will, will again, in, increase that market size and we, we're seeing some of those coming back but more importantly we, we've grown our business uh, the, the good spots would be places like morocco that it's going for us from a strength to strength and we're putting more capacity on those lines uh, egypt is another one that that we have grown 100 percent year on year and we may grow more this year uh, particularly the the tourism getting back into the red sea the World Cup will bring some business probably for a month or two in that, that market as well, given that they qualified equally. Morocco has qualified for World Cup as well. So that will, will sort of bring in yeah. additional unexpected business that would do good. How comfortable are you with where you are over the next three to four years, given where oil prices are? Well, I, I think one, obviously, uh, if one had a crystal ball on oil, uh, we probably wouldn't easier. have been having this conference, I would, I, this, this interview. I would have been more focusing on uh, oil and, and prediction. But, uh, you know, we, we hedge oil for an operational reason. Uh, so far, for the last five years that we have been doing it, it has helped us. 2017, again, had a, had a, had a good impact on overall our results. Yeah. Uh, I think... What we look at, uh, uh, we continue to hedge at 50% uh, around that figure. At the figure that we feel either way the oil goes, it will end up with, with a, a good positive result for the company. Uh, so therefore, oil hedging is not necessarily done to, for the profitability of uh, making money out of oil. It's done to make sure that we buy security and, and insurance of the operation. Uh, having said that, I think oil, good oil price that we're seeing, uh, it will fuel the economy in a positive manner and it will gain us uh, an overall improvement of business. HSBC put out a research note just a few days ago and they were making the argument that there are some consolidation plays in the market. And we're not talking about intra-regional, we're also talking about cross-region. And Air Arabia was one of the names that was put on that note. Uh, any discussions ongoing or ideas as to whether m as is a way to push forward? Well, yes, if we, you know, being a publicly listed company, obviously we've got the public's money and we, 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 we need to make sure that is always whenever there is an opportunity of investment and if it, if it means good for the company and for growth of our business, we, we should consider it. We always, to be honest with you, looking and there are always discussion going on with multiple people. But 99% of those don't really work out because they're not necessarily meet our needs or there is a synergy that benefits our business. Uh, at, right at the present, I can be honest with you that, that nothing is going on. Uh, but if something comes up that we feel it matches our DNA, then we'll be more than happy to, to look at. The story around sentiment and you told me that the better oil price was supporting consumer confidence and people have changed and they want to travel more they want to stay at home there's the other side of that coin which is a reality of higher cost of living uh, VAT that's dampening sentiment as well are you seeing any evidence of that and how, what are you doing to perhaps offset some of that as governments roll out more taxes and reduce the amount of money they spend uh, what we're seeing that with the technology around us, everybody wants to travel now. We find the, the, the one-time traveler a year, it's becoming two, three times. We're finding the young generation 
their, their thoughts and mind are very different to, to taking holidays and staying home. Uh, they, they don't want to take one trip a year. They want to be always on the road, any, any opportunities. We've seen quite a lot of short breaks. Hence, you know, we carried half a million people uh, last year. And I think we'll probably end up carrying another half a million more this year. So, and seat factors seem to be always at 80%. So, despite the realities that you just described in terms of cost of living increase, not just in UAE, probably in overall in the region, uh, we, we're not seeing a slowdown in the travel.